One thing that tends to be kind of confusing about uh, epidemiology studies to the public is that the results from the studies tend to be very interesting and exciting and uh, the newspapers and media tend to pick it up and report on them uh, because it involves, you, you know, they, they, these studies usually involve lots of people and it deals with common things that people are concerned about. You know, everybody's concerned about, you know, how they eat and how they live their lives and things that, in, in, that are commonly in the environment that they don't have control over and they want to know, you know, what, what can I do? But the problem with uh, most of the epidemiology studies is that there really is no one study that gives you a definite answer. Um, and we have to rely on multiple studies examining the same question. Um, and the multiple studies need to be done in different populations by different investigators, maybe using slightly different methods. And over time, if we begin to see the same thing among all the different studies examining the same kind of question, then we can begin to feel like, you know, this is real. Um, and so I, I, I think the thing is to not just react to the results of an epidemiology study that's reported in the newspaper, just kind of look at this, hmm, this is very interesting, and it'll be interesting to see uh, whether or not these kind